It don't make any sense. Why people? People really want to be able to say the N word. I don't. Ain't no and reason like to say they, it. They, they feel like they're 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 under all this pressure not to say it, not to be racist, and like. Well, it's like that whole Trayon thing. I try not to watch it. It's on TV. I went up there and turned it off, and they said it was someone in the Trayvon said uh, cracker. But they call black people call white people, and they say, well, if they could say cracker, and we should say N-word and all that stuff. That just don't make it any better or no worse. It just seems like it makes things worse to me. I don't understand none of that. I don't think that's true. It would, people call, does anybody other than somebody looking to get offended really get offended when they get called a cracker? Or they get called a honky. Those words are those are from the seventies. Nobody them, cares about those words. Them fellas come in this store one time, called me out all day, and I didn't know what it meant. I still don't really know what it means. Who called you? What did they call you? A honky or a cracker? I think cracker is what they said. Thank you, cracker. Yes, yeah, that cracker, all that. But I and I I thought maybe they thought they was, you know. I, I didn't know what it meant, but, you know, they didn't seem to be mean about it, as far as I could tell, so I didn't know any better. Maybe they were being thought they were being nice. Uh, Maybe they was I... putting you on. Was it the Fowler kids? No, hell, it wasn't the Fowler kids. Those kids wouldn't even say to look in the eye. These were nice, polite. They were African-American children. No, no, they, just, they I think they was Puerto Rican. Oh, they kept Hispanic calling you a cracker? Yeah. I don't think, I don't know that I've ever heard anybody say honky or cracker unless they were wearing a pimp suit from a, like, 70s cop show. That's the only place, yeah. Police woman, I think I heard it. Police woman, yeah, yeah, that's a good example. Honky. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't think that holds any way. You call somebody an N-word, you are bringing in slavery to it. It's, that's, it's, it's, hey, worse. it's got a lot of weight to it there. You're bringing it's, a whole weight of American history and cultural context and oppression and enslavement. 400 years, you are saying, I I used to could own you or could kill you and get away with it. And honestly, I could kill you right now and probably get away with it. It's, See, that's, Florida. It's, it, yeah. It's personal when you say that word. It makes it personal. It's like you call somebody a honky or, or like a black person calls a Puerto Rican person something and they get into a fight. Yeah, it's racist. They, they throwing names back and forth looking to fight. When a white person calls a black person the N-word, they are getting personal. They it's are saying this is thing. specifically what I used to could do to you. Yep. I used to call you this and get away with it. Yep. And now what can you do? Call me a cracker? That is laughable. That is impotent. There is no, there's no comparison between cracker and the N-word. I don't think so. There's not even any comparison. There's no comparison to black people calling each other N-words. There's no black comparison to other races calling each other racial slurs. The Everybody whole, can be racist. The whole white black thing is its own. It's separate. Own separate personal. And I don't understand how people, do they not live in America? Are they new to these shores? This has been going on for a long time. This is, we are, we are working through something here. Well, we're trying to. And well, you, Paula Dean had the perfect example of trying to work through it. They, you know what I mean? Know, I messed up. I, I don't understand. Tell me, you know, go on Oprah, cry, have somebody explain it to you. Yeah, explain of just it to me. Saying I is what I is. and People it, are genuinely upset and offended. You should question maybe maybe there's something to why they're upset. Well, and not get defensive and be like, well, I want to be racist. Like she, why can't she? Why do we have to not be racist? Seems to be the question a lot of people. That seems asking. to be it. You just ought not be. Because Obama, that's what they say. Well, now Obama has done a lot of terrible things to this country. Horrible, horrible things. But we ain't got the time to sit here and talk about but everything. One he's horrible done. thing he has not done is made it okay to be racist. I don't think so. It's because there is a black president. I get guilty sometimes. I hate that man so much. Jackie does. Every once in a while. Not much. i gotten over it. I've worked through it. But for a while there, At I was... it was like, is it okay? I was confused. I sometimes felt racist. But now I know it's okay to hate that man. 
Is it's it all ain't, right. It's okay to hate that man. Yes, that's it. Not right there. that N word. No, sir. Very Wouldn't different. Very different. Two Very different, different things. things. Yes, sir. Sometimes I, I feel guilty too. I mean, I got rat going, and I I start getting reflective, and I I think is this. Am I being racist? Everybody is, has their prejudices. I know that. It's never going to be a perfect world. It's also never going to be a world where you're free to say the N-word if you're white. So you, you should just get over it. Yeah. You can buy a bunch of Paula Dean cookbooks that's going to go on your shelf if you want to. you never going to get to say N-word. It's just not going to happen. No. You can go on a cruise. Have a good trip. Bon voyage. When you get back. You still can't say the N word. Ain't never gonna happen. No. Nope. You can go to Big Lots, buy all the mattresses you want. Ain't you ain't never going to support her enough to where you can walk in the, in a donut shop and record yourself calling somebody N word or yeah, S N word. People don't cater to it, and they ought not to, cause it's it just ain't right to do it. Do you think we're being too anti-racist, Jackie? I mean, somebody listening to this, we sound like we're on Rachel Maddow. I, I try to treat everybody the same respect, and I call white, black, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, uh, engines, any of them, anything. I don't think you can say engines. I well. That's, but we did say Johnny Depp looks stupid with a bird on his head. So I don't know why I'm supposed to support George Zimmerman, and I don't know Paula Dean, you know. I, I think these are two people we should feel free to completely throw under the bus. 